I'm here at Sydney Motorsport Park and all of these cars are either electric or hybrid or hydrogen. And uh, I'm here to test them. So this is our first car of the day. It's the uh, Mitsubishi Outlander FEV or PHEV. It's a plug-in, which means it's part petrol, part electric, and it can use both. This is an SUV, so it's a people mover, sort of a family car. Uh, it's got four wheel drive as well. And it's also got a mode which you can go full electric. We're now on the Tesla Model X, which is uh, an SUV, but it's got a real kick to it and it can go to, I think, 0 to 100 kilometers in about four seconds. It still sort of weirds me out that you never have to uh, release a handbrake on this one. It's great. Yeah, it really has a kick to it. It really speeds up. So the dashboard on this car is huge. And because it doesn't have gears, you can actually change things like the braking settings, or the suspension on this screen, uh, basically like it's an iPad. Very futuristic. So this is the Hyundai Nexo, which is a hydrogen electric car. So it actually has a hydrogen fuel cell in it. So from what I understand, hydrogen is basically the best like-for-like -like replacement we have for petrol. So this car has an extremely long range. It's about 700 kilometers off one tank of fuel, which takes three minutes to fill up. I am finding this one to be a lot more familiar. It's a lot closer to what it feels like to drive the car that I have now, which is the petrol Corolla. This car can actually act as a second source of energy. So you can plug it into your camper van and it works like a generator. There are probably three main things that are different um, about driving an electric car. The first one is they make no noise. There's no rev, there's no roar. Uh, I was in the pit earlier and it's just absolutely the quietest racetrack I've ever been on. The other thing is there's no gearbox. So for a lot of these cars, what you do is you just press a button or you just turn a handle and you ratchet up through the gears. There's also no handbrake and no, no park brake, which is always really confusing for me. And the last thing is that most models of electric or hydrogen car have something called regenerative braking. So this actually recharges the electric battery while you drive. But it means that when you take your foot off the accelerator, it slows down a bit and braking generally just is a bit more sudden and a bit stiffer. The car I'm most looking forward to testing is this one. Oh, okay. So this is the Toyota Iro, which is a three wheel fully electric car built just for one person. It's pretty weird to drive. It purposely wobbles and sort of moves from side to side as you turn. It feels a bit like driving a bike, but also driving a car. It's a pretty snug fit. It moves around a fair bit as well. Oh yeah, I think I would be the coolest person in the office if I rocked up, to, rocked up in this to work. So yeah, I'll get five.